Hey guys, Dean Philosopher here, Matt's the name. I'm just going to go over my latest pack here, so let's get stuck right in. It's a Royal Garden. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Here is the basic map. Uh, we've got a single entranceway into a walled or cordoned off uh, part of a castle complex. Um, obviously it would have to be a pretty large castle complex to warrant having its own royal garden, hence why you'd probably find this in just the wealthiest and, and, and most influential nobles' residences. So we've got a gateway here, we've got a bit of an open sort of space here. Um, I'd imagine that um, not only would people wander through the gardens, but you might have uh, young squires or knights and something like that doing conducting a bit of training in, in, a, in a bit more of a serene atmosphere. Um, yeah, so, so that could be conducted in, in sort of this space here. Uh, we've got various walkways, uh, lined walkways. There's uh, hedges and edging uh, around the sort of garden areas. Um, but uh, there's, there's a bit of a complex of um, walkways. Uh, we've sort of got in these corner places benches for the uh, people to sit on. I can imagine that there would be all sorts of fops, uh, ladies and, and uh, nobility who, who would use this as a getaway, a place for serenity, uh, but also for political conversations, getting away from the limelight or out of, out of the eyes of, of uh, the people that are watching them and so on. So a bit of privacy as such. So there could be all sorts of uh, business or politics uh, or personal affairs Fairs being conducted in these gardens. Um, there's definitely a lot of privacy. Uh, these these garden areas uh, do block off uh, vision from you know, opposing uh, walkways. And uh, yeah, so so you've got these sort of seats in the corner areas here. You've got these large obelisks, uh, sort of. Uh, as, as ornaments here, a large statue in the middle, and uh, two ponds here. Uh, the ponds, uh, the, the, the stones, as you'll see in the um, point of view shots, uh, are large enough to act as seating so people could sort of sit around there. Uh, these ponds are, are very private uh, because they are um, completely sort of closed off from, from all but those sort of standing at the entrance ways as such. Uh, so, so a very lavish setting uh, that will uh, complement any sort of uh, campaign, especially where you've got characters that are hobnobbing with the rich and famous. All right, so, so that is the base map, that's the gridded map. Uh, we've got the grid list map, so you can establish your own scale if you're using VTT. Uh, we've got the nighttime gridded map and the nighttime grid list map. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of shadows right around the edges here, so there's all sorts of space for, you know, sort of intrigue and so on like that. Um, it's a great place for assassinations too, just if you want to set something like that up. But anyway, let's jump in and have a look at the point of view shots. So here we've got sort of the entranceway, the, the, the gates to the garden. Um, we've got a, a view of just entering um, and down the sides as well. We've got uh, one of the sort of corner areas with the seating. Um, we can see the seating and how you can see the obelisks there. Uh, another shot of the obelisks, another shot of the obelisk, but you can just see the top of the statue over top of the bushes. Um, and you sort of head along. So here's the statue here. It's quite a large statue, um, quite a quite an ornate looking statue with gold trim, um, but it definitely uh, sort of stands over those that are near it. And uh, we've got the pond areas here with uh, the lilies and, and so on. Uh, quite a nice sort of tranquil private area here. Um, we've got a couple of shots from the walls, just in case uh, it's important for your characters to have a bit of an overview over the, the garden. So you sort of get an idea of what's visible from the walls. You'd imagine that guards would be uh, posted there, um, so they might observe or be able to react to any ill doing in the garden. And we've got a couple of, a couple of aerial shots, just, to, just in case you, you, you've got people that like to fly or um, want to gain extra vantage points. Um, we've got exactly the same shots as the daytime shots, but taken with a nighttime filter. So if you've got um, characters conducting uh, anything, any business at nighttime, secret meetings, rendezvous, and the like, uh, then that, that's the, the point of view shots have got that covered. That is the Royal Garden. Um, it's actually quite a nice complement to a couple of other maps that I've got, um, namely the Three Level Manor. Um, you could imagine that uh, the Three Level Manor might be a, a, a bit of a complex nearby. But uh, that is the Royal Garden. You can find that on RPG now. And um, I'll post a link for that underneath my YouTube clip. I really hope it complements your gaming. Um, and yeah, happy gaming, people.